Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is draw a nice big eye shape. Now I want you to try and use up a lot of your page to do a really big eye. Okay, we don't want a tiny little eye. And then inside that we're going to draw a big circle. Now we're going to do, because this is a dragon, we're not going to do a round circle in the middle. We're going to do a shape like that. Now I just want you to do this light, but I want you to do a highlight somewhere in the eye so that we don't colour in that part at all later on, okay? So we're going to draw some eyelids around it. Now we're going to do some big scales on our dragon. Okay, that are going to go like big circles on those between those shapes that we've drawn. It's kind of round or square, whatever you like, so long as they fill up those areas. going to do some either some lines here or you can do some more shapes but they kind of need to match up with the other shapes so if you've got one here make sure it's the same size there okay so they kind of all line up together some more shapes up here lots and lots of little ones that are going to fill in to look like scales now if you want you can even do some bigger ones that look more like this more like flames I'm just going to add a few more smaller scales before we start adding some colour. Time to add some colour. We're going to use some watercolour, but you can use textures, pencils, gel pens, acrylic paint, anything that you have that is going to make it look really colourful and beautiful. Um, I'd love to see different colours that you choose. I'm going to do a blue dragon, uh, but I'd love to see what colours you would come up with. So please post your pictures so we can all share in how beautiful your artwork looks.
Right now I've filled in all the scales, I'm going to fill in between them with some black or a very dark colour if you have it. Right now I've filled in all the black in the background, I'm going to do the pupil and the iris. So I'm going to do blue but you can do any colour that you like, but I would love you to get it dark around the edges and a little bit lighter in the middle. Remember, we don't want to put colour in this section here. This is going to be our highlight that's white. If you do get colour in it, doesn't really matter. You can paint it white later with white paint. Alright, now we've got to add some colour to make it look like an eye. So we're going to do some lines. Just while I'm waiting for that eye to dry so I can do a bit more detail, I'm going to add in some dark shading at the bottom of some of these scales to make it look a bit more three-dimensional.
just going to add a little bit more detail to the eye but we're going to come back over it soon and put some more detail on in coloured pencil. Alright, now we're going to do the black pupil. So I'm just going to outline it with a black pen and then we can paint the middle or you can colour it in with a black sharpie. Now I'm going to grab some pencils and add some more detail to the eye. Now just to make it look like the eyelid is over the top of the eye, I'm going to add a bit of dark shading just to this part. We just need to add some white highlights to the eye and a few scales if you want to to make it look three dimensional. Oh! <laughs> 